Hello everyone, today we're talking about the center line, with the main focus here being on perspective of where that line should be. It's going to be your job through rudder and or stick and yoke input to get it there, but I want to talk about the wear factor. This goes for taxiing, takeoff, and landing. With today's flight sim culture, I think a lot of new flight sim pilots, when they're first starting out, tend to put a lot of focus on buttering landings before learning this technique. And I really believe centerline control should be practiced before moving into that, or at least simultaneously. It all comes down to perspective and knowing where to aim looking out the window. And once you master the centerline technique, it will carry over into any aircraft you fly. Now we're talking about a static view on your computer monitor, which is different from the 3D view you have in real life. Of course, if you're using VR or track IR, that puts you a little closer to the real view, but as a disclaimer, this advice is for flight simulation. If you want to learn about this subject in the real world, always consult a local certified flight instructor. Now, whether you're flying a single-seat aircraft or a two-seater aircraft, the aim point for the centerline is going to be about the same. No matter which side you sit on, everything I'll explain still applies. To demonstrate this, you can load up your aircraft on a runway or position yourself centered on a taxi line. Loading on a runway will generally center you on the line depending on which sim you're using, and if you are a little offset, just correct it until you are on the center, and then have a look from inside the cockpit. And this will be the spot you'll want to remember. When I first started flight simming, I assumed the centerline spot was in line with the center glare shield frame, which it is from the straight on angle, but when seated, your aim point is the center of your view. Your primary display or artificial horizon is sometimes a good marker to hold that sight picture in your peripheral view, but the exact spot changes depending on aircraft layout. Generally in a 172, you can get away with using the artificial horizon as a place to aim, but generally it's just going to be the center of your view. And this is going to carry over naturally the more you do it and see it from a Cessna 172 to a 747 all the way to a helicopter, if you're aiming down the center of your seat or yoke, you will be in the center line. So always make sure your camera view is centered appropriately with the seat, just like your head would be if you're actually to sit in the aircraft. Now once you know all of this, it's going to be practicing over and over again. Some days the weather is going to fight you on this, and if you get caught with a good gust while in ground effect, this can blow you off the center line a little bit, but you can quickly correct that once you touch down. The important thing here is to get as close to the center line as possible and hold it there, and knowing where that spot is will be key. And that's really what I'm trying to drive home here, is where you want to be aiming and where that line is from the cockpit. Good landings also come from good approaches. On final approach, it's good to keep looking down towards the end of the runway and hold that sight in the center of your view. This 50, will really help slow. with your approaches. 30, 20, 10, 5. Alright, we're down. Reverse thrust deployed. Four hundred. 
minimums. Continue. 100. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Alaska 1050, runway 10 left. Wind is calm. Fly to Portland 2. Clear for takeoff. Eight First off, manual braking. Cool. We're able to get off right there. So if you're struggling to land a certain aircraft on center, remember, make sure you are lined up in the seat, center yourself on a line and pay attention to where that line is from the cockpit. Then just practice taxiing on that line. Most sims have replay systems so you can debrief to see how you did. And if you're consistently staying on the line, then you're ready to land that way too. Again, through practice, I promise this will all become normal for you. I hope you found this video helpful. I try to create clear tutorials sharing what I've learned over the years. And if you like this, make sure you subscribe for more. We fly just about everything on this channel, traveling all over the world, and never stop learning new things. So long for now, everyone. Take care. Nice. Two for two today. Doing real good with this plane.